So normally around this time, you would go to the bird gym and beat up a bunch of bird Pokemon, but we have no idea what the hell we're going to be dealing with. Birds. So, I swear to God, if they end up being flying types, I'm going to be disappointed. Disappointed. What's up, YouTube? This is Arl Yoshi's Usual. I am Max. I'm Rhino. And where's the gym? Here it is. You want to save before you go in? Probably, yeah. Let's do that. Save. Just in case weird things happen. Oh, I get it. The reason it hadn't recorded your Pokedex was because you didn't actually have a Pokemon that wasn't in the National Dex. Oh. But now that I have Vulpix, I do. So I've prevented any glitches, basically. Hopefully. Oh, okay, now it's gonna... Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get in there and see what we got. Into the tent. Yo, champ in the making! I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me, if you believe that a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. What? Thanks. No water? Come on, fight the trainers. Sorry, I was just confused about how that was going. Alright, let's do this. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, but from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let me see if you're good enough to face Falconer. Alright. Bird trainer. Bird, Abe. bird keeper Abe with his Persian. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Again, normal type though. Well, at least I got Aaron for this sort of stuff. Yep. You did one damage to me, but I did no damage to you, so you win this time. Touche, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is going to take a while. Speed up. Yep. <laughs> yeah, when I think the battle's going to take a while, I'm just going to speed it up. I'll try not to speed up gym leader battles, but... Especially in times like this when it's literally just tackle until it doesn't miss. Yeah, it, it, we're just at that point in the game where we don't have a lot of move coverage, so we can't kill things too fast. I'm just holding down spacebar and mashing Z, and eventually it'll die. I'm glad Tackle has a lot of PP. Doesn't have as much as you think. I think it only has, like, it has 35. Though for 35. a second I thought it said 95. You're kidding me right now. Come on. Okay, there we go. We did it! Yeah. Level 11! I forget when this thing evolves. Learned headbutt! Yay! Something good! Jeez. Okay. Birdkeeper Abe was defeated. This can't be true! Alright. Let's see who's up next. You notice that's hey, you. that path you're on is in the shape of the money sign? <laughs> Falconer loves money. Ho ho! You some kind of big shot? We'll see! What happens if you get pushed around up here? Think you'll stagger and fall? People that are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on! Wow, he was chatty. Yeah, dude, just fight me already. Jesus Christ. The other guy's like, bird keeper me. wrong. <laughs> Dawn Vad! That That's not a bird! That is the opposite of a bird. <laughs> also, you might want to be careful. <laughs> that looks so weird, like... <laughs> <laughs> Dawn Fed used Seizure! <laughs> and then use Defense Curl. That's a classic move for it. Aha, you flinched! You're not gonna use Rollout like I was expecting you to. And up that goes. Sweet, level 12. And torch it. Let's do this. To be fair, he brought out two Pokemon that could super effective hit your guy. No, uh, I'm Steel Rock. Fire is neutral. Fair enough. I'm fairly certain of that anyway. I'll double check it. But I think you're right. Gah! And really, Torchic does look like a bird. Yeah. Yeah, Steel Rock, we're good. Let's run back to the Pokemon Center. 
Sweet. I can't tell quite what Father Sprite looks like, but it looks like, from my end, like he was just sitting there holding a Game Boy. <laughs> well, I mean, Jim Lear's gotta do something, man! I kind of prefer the fan interpretation that it's not necessarily like the Jim Lear just stands there until challengers come in. I kind of like the fan interpretation that off screen you like call them to set up Jim Leader fight appointments and they actually have other stuff they do. What about or something the, like the, the, is there ever like, uh, any explanation for gym trainers? I imagine they're like employees that you get in order to uh, lighten your workload by making sure less trainers get to you. Okay, so they're like the earn your way to the gym leader spots. Yeah. I also kind of like the interpretation where like gym gym leaders li the gym they like live in the gym so they can just be doing whatever and then it's like hey trainers here okay goes downstairs instead of having to stand there the whole time. I like that. All right, Falconer, let's see what you got. Do you want voice Falconer? All right. <clears throat> I'm Falconer, the Violet City Pokemon gym leader, dude. People say you can clip Flying Tines Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I don't know why that sentence was so hard. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon, bro. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I feel like all my male ones are ending up the Send same. Send out a golem! Send out a golem! <laughs> I, was, I think all my male ones are ending up the same in this LP. I'm gonna have to start doing different stuff. Leader Falker sent out. Why, why not? not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> Jeez. Crit. Okay, give me that experience. That's set in Slowpoke! <laughs> You're a great flying type leader, Faulkner! Are you sure you aren't the psychic gym leader? The wind is finally with us, dude. Slowpoke isn't psychic, though. Oh no, actually it is. Now I, I keep getting confused with uh, Golduck, where it has psychic moves but isn't psychic type. Yeah. Wait, Golduck isn't psychic type? Golduck is not psychic type. Neither is Psyduck, but they're known for learning psychic type moves. But to be fair, the only reason they're known for that is because of the anime. Huh. I thought for sure it gained psychic type when it leveled up. Or evolved. Don't think so. Huh. Weird. Remember in like Pedestal, there was that thing where like Golduck was chastised for being not a true psychic type or something like that? Uh. Also, we might be at this a while. See your point. Or we might be at this for less long than you think. We can still fly. How? I have wings made of slowpoke tails. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually- Hang on, Aaron! Oh shit, son! I don't think I ever actually beat Soul Silver. To be fair, I never beat uh, Heart Gold. I, in the original gold, I did get to red. I don't think I ever beat him, but I did get all the way to red. My man. And I was, and I didn't get it because I never, because I didn't remember playing blue back then. I also never named myself red, so it made no sense to me. Yeah, I remember I beat red, but it was just the fact that whenever I went to play Soul Silver, I think I got what was it, the Olivine, and I was just like, eh. I was never that big on Heart Gold. I didn't like it that much for some reason. I just, I, I think I was too much in the nostalgia. Like, I remember Gen 2 too much. Anyway, you said I understand all bow out gracefully. You missed it. For pity's sake, man. My dad's cherished bird Pokemon. I never got to use it. But a defeat is a defeat, alright? Take this Fisher Pokemon League badge, bro. This one is a Zephyr badge. Da, 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 da. I was probably way off key with that. With the badge, Pokemon including trade Pokemon up to level 20 will be without question, man. Also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. And now we get the TM. I don't know what that's for, though. By using a TM of Pokemon, will instantly learn new move, man. Think before you act, the TM can only be used once. TM-51 contains Roost. It restores half the max HP. 
There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead, man. Make good use of them. As for your next move, bro, I would suggest Azalea Town. Yeah, let's go kick some bug scrubs. Bug scrubs indeed, bro. Bye. You know, back when I first played Pokemon Red, never mind, I'll wait on saying this because I'm being called by Elm. Hello, Haru Yoshi. We discovered something. The details are well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Click. Sure. Dot, dot, anyway, what dot, I was, dot, dot. What I was going to say is that, uh... I'll grab the egg now. What I was going to say is that, uh, in the... In Pokemon Red, when I saw the gym leaders, I thought it was going to be something like, uh... Is it this guy? Uh, I thought it was going to be like, each gym leader is, like, has Pokemon that are super effective against the previous one, because it was like, water's good against rock, electric's good against water, and then I got to Erika with grass, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> good day. Aroyoshi, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. <laughs> Here you go. Super potion. Thanks. Thanks, mom. We look forward to your next visit. Long time no see, Arl Yoshi. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor M. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. You will give me an egg! Thank you. That's a weird jingle. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Arl Yoshi. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here to deliver the egg to you. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Arl Yoshi. You are a slave. Please take care of it. All right, let's buy some shit. Woo! Cannot buy great balls. We can buy rappel. Eh, probably not. Okay, not that much, but I'm gonna buy some. Just for times when I'm trying to go back or something. Uh, aside from that, I think I'm good. Actually! Five paralyzed heals, please! <laughs> yeah. And I'll buy... I have an antidote already. A couple Pokeballs. Did. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to maneuver around this, but because I'm not allowed to click until the text finishes scrolling, it's really fucking annoying. I have ten pokeballs already. Oh, you still had ten? Okay. I was trying to go here and buy Awakening. I was about to say that doesn't come up too much, but this is random, so you never know. I also buy a Burn Heal. No, goodbye. Alright, so basically, now we have this egg. We just need to carry it around for a while, basically. Yep. And hopefully it does not hatch into Togepi. As long as- I'm gonna say that as long as it does not hatch into Togepi, uh, if it hatches- Oh my god, can I talk? As long as it does not hatch to Togepi or something lame like Rattata, I'll probably just use it on my team. Me, oh my. That egg must be... I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. No, you don't take my egg. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? Wee. <laughs> I'm counting on you. I really hope, like, frickin' Dialga hatches from it or something. <laughs> Moving on! Yay. I mean, you can try and go this way. Oh, do we have anything else to do around here? No, it's just that path is usually blocked by Suda Wuda. You gotta go south. All right. All right. Past the Alf ruins. Okay, I haven't played this in a while. What is this? The Pokemon. Pokemon School. School. Wait, what? Earl. Earl will show you all there is to Pokemon. I'm sorry. That just sounds like weird. It sounds like they're using Pokemon as a verb. Yep. I know how to Pokemon. Alright, we go south. Where's the way to go south? Uh, so, uh, southwest. 
Ah, right here, I think. Yep. Ah, apricorn. What's this one gonna be? Orange. Oh. It's a yule. It's a yule. I put the yule apricorn. It's an apricorn tree. There are no apricorns. All right. To the left is the ruins. I'm not actually sure what would be in there in this version. I wonder if they would still have the puzzles for you. Hey, it's Fion. Meh. It didn't get me much at all last time, so... Oh! I thought I went to the Pokemon Center! Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. I guess I got caught off track by the egg. Yep. Alright, let's go heal. See, when I first came out of the gym and I was told, go get this egg, I was gonna run over here and heal first, and I was like, nah, I'll get the egg first. I won't forget, right? Nurse Joy, help me, I did a dumb. <laughs> She's like, you dumbass. Da 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 da. Alright, come along, Dan! When do I get a bike? Uh, let's see... Goldenrod, I think. Who boy. It's just oh, a town right. after Azalea Town. I wonder what Whitney's gonna have instead of her fucking mill tank. I don't know. Ruins of Alf East Entrance, so we'll go this way. Let's see what's in the ruins. Can I even do stuff in the Ruins of Alf this early? You can solve the one puzzle in Unleash the First Unknown, which would be, I have no idea at this point. Ruins Research Center. Let's just go do, it's in this cave, right? I believe so, yes. This should be the Kabuto puzzle. Dick. No, wait, no, this is the, this is the entrance to the underground part. You gotta look for the Do I other. wanna be, do I wanna be here? No, this is the escape. At when it drops you down from the puzzles. Oh, so if you fail it, it drops you down there? No, no, no. If you succeed, it drops you down there, and you've un you sh whenever you do it, you've unleashed more unknown. Uh, oh, I think that was a that was a turn. Huh? Like you go in and then you go right. Oh. Is this the puzzle? Yeah, here we are. Welcome to this chamber. We are reconstructing ancient Pokemon stone panels. You can rotate stone panel pieces by touching them for a short time. If you touch a piece and slide it, you can move it around. We think we should be able to put them back to where they were. Mm. Oh yeah, it's Kabuto. <laughs> that uh, needs to be rotated, I think. Yeah, I know. I'm, d I'm doing that. The one you battle on the... Yeah, those need to be switched to the top and the side. Oh! Alright, I gotta do it like this, because it's stupid. Bye-bye. She, she does not give a shit! Oh, hello. Did you just come down from above? So, you must have solved the stone panel puzzle. That is wonderful. You seem to have some talent with archaeology. I will give you this unknown report. It records unknown as you capture them. I am sure it will come in handy. If you ever manage to catch one. Yeah! There's a strange presence here. Hmm. And the answer is... Chimeco. Chimeco. <laughs> I mean, it's sort of unknown-ish. Is it, though? Is it really? I guess it sounds like it. Because I know it make a sort of chime-like sound. Shroomish! We could capture it to get a cranny dose. Die! Also, we don't need a cranny dose. 
I guess going down there just leads to, uh, more from other puzzles or something. Uh... Hello, Neat Arena. No, you literally won't find anything down there because this is this is literally just a big area that it drops you into various points. Though. Yeah, that's what I that's what I meant. Like I meant like if you go down there. Okay, get on the ladder. Okay, so there's nothing. That's we can't do any other puzzles, can we? No, I think you need like surf and other things. After this, you can't break that rock. So all right, let's just move on. East. Really? There's stuff up here. Or is that Sudowoodo again? That's Sudowoodo again. Yeah. So we don't need to be here at all. Nope, this was optional. But I was curious right. what Pokemon you would find instead of unknown. All of them. <laughs> Ready to go see what the fishermen and campers have? There should be another camper down here who asked for your phone number. Oh, this guy gives me a miracle seed, I think. Wait up, what's the hurry? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from those, the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass-type moves. We got the miracle seed. Useless. Really, not much training happened in the gym. It was mostly training in Sprout Tower. Yeah. Alright, time to get through this grass. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was really eager to show you what you had. Fion again. Oh, no. Apparently, Fion is the theme one for this. Can't escape, it's time is now. Wow, if I had a fire type Pokemon, that would suck. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't really get the sport ones. I know like it would probably be useful during team bouts, but it's mostly used by wild Pokemon and trainers. Hey buddy. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? Swing. I mean, that's weird logic to use, but... Challenged by Youngster Albert with his Marsh Tom. Ooh. You might be fucked. Because if he uses mu- What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Forget I said anything. And a Carnivine. He can fly it's, for some reason. It's Little Shop of Horrors personified. How does it feel like when it happens to you? I mean, normally it doesn't happen when I do it to... Normally it doesn't happen when I do it to other people. It usually misses, so... Just die. Okay. And <sighs> level 13 now. Don't fall asleep. You're strong. Yes, I am. How do we send that money to mom? This doesn't even make sense. Digitally over your phone. Bongo Bongo is still higher level. How does this happen? I've barely used him. He had a lot of levels. Guess yeah. Item. I'm going for the going for the item. Eventually. Immediate regret. Ooh. Oh, hello, Gorbis. Gorbis. No. I'm so sweet and pretty, and I will suck your organs out. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Repel! How ironic. Yes, indeed. Oh my god. I think it was telling me that I should use it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nothing else has been this disappointing. I'm just going to kill it. Just to show what I think of it. Ah, randomizers, you so silly. Yeah. I'll get out of this grass one day. Whooper? Hello, Ooh. Gallade! I think you should I get know this. you're happy! I think you should get this. I'll do my best. This might not go well for me. Really? I tried, okay? I was using fucking tackle. Yeah, I know. Crits. Damn, that could have been useful. Oh my god. I'm trying to go talk to that camper over there. Hello, Oddish.
Goodbye, Oddish. All right, camper. Let's kick your ass. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you know... Pardon? Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, all right, I'll accept your challenge. Dick. And to be fair, I did, I did actually walk up and challenge her. While she was on the phone. My cat. Oh my god, I love her. That Mudkip survived better than that Marsh Tomp from earlier. Or the Glade. Well, to be fair, the Glade got hit by a crit. So did the Marsh Tomp. I was not even aware these Pokemon were programmed into Heart Gold, so. Before I could get serious, I lost. What do you say afterwards? Oh, you're on a big journey to see the sights? Eat! Let's be friends! Can I have your phone number? Oh, okay. I want to hear about everything you've seen. Okay. Girls are giving me their number. This is the first. Yeah, I like it whenever these trainers actually call you for a rematch, because they usually have better Pokemon. I'll telephone you if I hear anything interesting. Bye. Bye, Zs. What's down here? Just grass? Or an item? That's the alternate route. You can either take the pier route or the grass route. Both have trainers, so you'll probably end up taking both. Yeah. Pseudo Wudo! Pseudo -wudo. <laughs> Wait a minute, if this is randomizer, what's the pseudo Wudo going to be when you spray it with water? I don't know, but I also set it so that any, like, standing Pokemon, like, if we, like, walk up to a legendary and say hi to it, it's going to be random as well, and not even necessarily random to a legendary. Well. Wow. I think I set it to that, I'm not sure. I'll do this route first, I think. My Pokemon, freshly caught! Have a fire type, have a fire type, it would be great. Have a Pikachu. Articuno! Articuno! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> We're getting surprised by this, but still, they are level like 8. Yeah, but I mean, the chances of a legendary out of how, however many Pokemon are programmed into this particular version. Alright, you keep gusting, and I'll keep headbutting. His gust is him farting icily at you. Alright, we got a lot of experience from that one. I do like we at least get a lot of experience. Weasel! Legendaries. Well, he had a water type. I might need to run back and heal because Headbutt's running out of PP. Yeah, no shame in that. Plus, Aaron is at kind of low health, so... Yeah, he's doing good, though. He's almost equal level with Dusclops now. Splash? No. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna end the episode there, and in between episodes, I'll run back and heal. So, uh... With all that happening, I've been Max. And I'm Rhino. And... Aaron is dizzy. Okay.